Hey, what's up Animal Crossing fanatics? Josh from the BitBlock here with yet another video analysis of the latest Japanese scans and information for Animal Crossing on the Nintendo 3DS. First up, it's our good caffeine-filled friend Brewster. This time it looks like he's moving up in the business world and he has his very own little coffee shop in your town. So in other words, he's no longer located in the museum basement. And personally, I don't know, I really like this idea, and I think I'll pop in more often since I'll probably pass by him on a daily basis. In this same image, we can see Booker in the top corner here. Of course, we already know that the Lost and Found slash Police Station is returning, which I'm really excited about. Copper and Booker just look way cooler in police uniforms. This next shot really doesn't give away any new details, but we do get to once again see Mystery Seti as he has a calm, totally not angry conversation with this girl character. The girl's hairstyle is a new design not seen in previous games. There's also a couple lanterns just outside of her house, which I'm sure will be a good way to attract uh, moths in the summer months. Here we get a look at some of the fashion in the game. About half of the designs here are from past games, and the other half are totally new to the Nintendo 3DS game. I think what's most important to note about this image is that it's not just about changing your shirt, hat, and accessory anymore. Now, thanks to the characters being taller, you can purchase shorts, pants, t-shirts, sweaters, boots, shoes, and more. Creating a style and identity for your character is more extensive than ever before. Also, these flowers in the background are totally new to the series. As we've already discussed, the official Japanese box art for the game features a giant tree. This image definitely represents the early days of that tree. Your village tree may serve a pretty big importance. I mean, look, it's got its own little bricked area and everything. This screenshot, however, doesn't really give away any factual info to go by, though. One thing is definitely clear, the planting of the tree seems to be a pretty big deal in your village, as many animals have come out to witness it. It's kind of interesting, because on the box, we can see K.K. Slider performing under the tree. So if that's the case, where does he perform before the tree is planted? Or maybe this is something that you would do as your you know, on your first day as mayor. I don't know, time will tell, but for now, we do know there's a big ass tree in your village. Also, oh my god, I want that fat little chipmunk hamster guy to live next door to me. Look at him, I wanna squeeze him. Here we get to meet a couple new animal designs. Uh, what's that? Oh, why yes, that is an octopus made out of flan. What the hell? I, I don't know, um, it's weird though, because I actually really like him. Or her. I don't know. Either way, its birthday is March 8th. This horse is new to the series as well, but come on, let's face it. The dessert-shaped octopus totally overshadows the new horse here. This two-page spread has a whole lot going on. Unfortunately, it's all screenshots and artwork that we've already seen over the past few months. However, the artwork for this girl character is brand new. The most notable thing about it is that she's holding an ice cream cone, which is pretty crazy. We've already seen a few images where characters appeared to be holding ice cream and walking around, so, you know, even though it may serve no purpose at all, you can walk around and lick down some ice cream as you explore your village. We have no clue where you would buy it, though. Still, it's pretty cool. Now, I think I've saved the best for last here. This image actually has a lot to talk about. First up, the cherry blossom trees will make a return in the springtime, which is very pretty. Also, it appears the path may be worn down back here, so let's hope Nintendo didn't foolishly put the animal tracks back in the game. Seriously, nobody wants a village full of mud. I think it's obvious what's going on in this image. There's a girl player having a picnic outside while sipping coffee, so if we- wait, what? Yeah, you can have picnics now. In fact, we've seen quite a few random bizarre things you can actually do outside in the game. I really think this kind of stuff, while it might not serve an actual purpose, ends up being hugely entertaining, and it brings the game up to a whole new level of immersion. There's even a couple chairs to sit on here, along with a little basket of food. Uh, seeing as how Brewster owns a coffee shop now, and the girl is walking around drinking coffee, I think it's safe to assume you can now take your cup of joe on the go. It's, uh, it's many little things like this that I think really are going to excite fans. Stay up to date on all the latest Animal Crossing 3DS news by subscribing to this channel and checking out thebitblock.com. We'll be pumping out loads of exclusive direct feed video content when the game launches on November 8th in Japan.